I think this might be the last episode of the series. It might finish here. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Southampton save. It's the save where we've allowed our director of football to conduct all of our transfer business. He's been the guy bringing in players in terms of signings. He's been the guy who's been selling players too. And we've done all right really with Southampton. Also, I added in a club vision thing as well that we could only sign players under the age of 21. At the end of season three, we've done okay. Season one, we finished 10th. Season two, we finished, was it fifth overall? Oh yeah, 10th and then fifth. And then this season... I'm going to reveal how we've got on at the end of season number three. Now, I did mention in the start of the video, and this is, it is true, with FM23 just on the horizon now, it's about to be, the beta's about to come out, right? If we go by anything that ever happens with FM, the beta is just around the corner, meaning we need to tie up this save. And I think, I think today might be the episode to do that. I'll explain why when we jump into the save. Before we do jump into the save, a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this series. If you're enjoying the series still, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We are pushing towards our goal of 30,000 subscribers before FM23 comes out. I just I feel like we might be able to do it, you know. We're, we're a little bit off it, but we might be able to do that. Let's, um, let's try and do it. If you can help me do that by subscribing to the channel, that'd be great. Also, like the video too and leave me those comments down below. I would like your thoughts, really, in today's video. How have you found this series as a whole? Let's reflect on it. If you've enjoyed it and let me know you've enjoyed it if there are things you do differently let me know maybe we can think about those things for fm23 series i am always constantly thinking of good ideas for different series we could do so maybe you could suggest some of those down below as well in the comments section thank you so much for being on the journey with me and coming along all the way until episode 11 here which is at the end of season three it's been a really good series so thank you so much for that let's let's jump into the save and find out how we've done with season three just as a reminder then this is where we left things off at the end of last episode it was the at the end of the january transfer window the window closed there wasn't too much business done in january basically gary decided that he would only go and sign central midfielders if we have a look at the players he signed bernardo agume lucas smith who's a youngster ignore him a little bit and lucas sucic the three main players he signed in the january window were all center midfielders which is a kind of useful because we do play with four center mids however we were already well stocked in this position. This was the run-in that I've gone through and played then. We've got Premier League games with Liverpool, Man City coming up, Spurs not too far away. We've got the Europa League knockout rounds as well to go through. Feeling good about that as a competition, which I'll reveal to you in a second as well. I went and played through all of these games and we've got ourselves to the end of the Premier League season. I will reveal where we've finished and maybe, just maybe... There's a live com or two in today's episode. It might be a bumper episode to finish things off. I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit of a celebration. I'll show you why. And this is why it could well be a celebration of an episode. You can also maybe see why I'm thinking this could be a good place to leave the series. It could be a brilliant finale. We have made not one, but two finals. We are in the FA Cup final where we will be playing Leeds at Wembley, of course, which is in today it's in today it's in zero it's in a few hours time playing leads we have also made the europa league final we're playing rb leipzig in that in the aviva stadium in five days time two finals two live comms let's see if we can go and get some silverware because we've had a fantastic end of the season i guess we should start with that actually as well well let me show you the fa cup run and the europa league run also the end of the premier league season you can see that from January onwards, we started with this Liverpool game here, remember? We lost that, by the way, 4-1. The run after that, though, was superb. We didn't lose from February the 10th all the way up until May the 7th, where we lost to Brighton towards the end of the season. I mean, we bounced back from that by beating Salzburg 8-1 in the Europa League. We've, we've been really, really, really good. We beat Spurs 5-1. We drew to Man City 3-3, which again, in itself is not too bad, is it? Have a look at some of those results there. I don't want to dwell on them too much because I want to get into these games, but just look at the form we've been in here. In the Premier League, with all of these wins, we have finished, as you've probably noticed at the top already, third we were still a long way off liverpool i think i showed you in the last episode how good they were doing this year they only lost three games they got 95 points in in total chelsea were second on 87 15 points behind them came us in third we've qualified for the champions league which does seem a bit of a shame to not be able to go and play it i feel like what i might do is do like a five years later 
simulation to see how Southampton do. Maybe put a video out on the second channel. Maybe put it onto Patreon. Let me know if you want that, by the way, especially Patreon members. Just message me on, on, on the Patreon or in the comments down below and say you'd be interested in that if you are. And I'd happily go and put the effort in to show that. Yeah, we finished third. We've lost six games in total. We've won 20 out of 38. Two points clear of Manchester United. Three points clear of Manchester City, who... I mean, finished fifth, which is a little bit disappointing for them, isn't it? Having a look at the player stats, our top goal scorer, was it Badia Shile? It was. In ninth, Badia Shile with 13 goals from centre-back. Kitenge, the boy wonder, got himself 12 goals. By the way, I need to show you this as well. Kitenge was the next-gen winner. First in the next-gen list. He is literally... He's a beast. He's going to be amazing in this save. Look at his potential still. Look how good he is already at 18. Another reason to do the five years later save almost to see how good Kitenge can become. Have a look at this for a season. 12 Premier League goals, which is mediocre. I guess he's 18, but... 27 goals in all competitions. He's had a lovely time in the Cup, 6-6. Six six. Lovely time in the Continental competitions in the Europa League, 9-10. in 10. 27 in 43 at 18 years old. You can see why he's won the Next Gen Award, right? He is... He's going to be so good. He's also made his Sweden debut. Look, two caps for them yet to score, but his value is going to skyrocket. I need to get him locked down, actually. He's got two years left on his contract. Again, it might not matter if we do finish the save here. However, I will get Gary. I'm going to tell him to go and get him a new contract. I don't usually do that, but it's Kitenge, and I want him to. Colombo, new signing this year, got 12 goals. Just scrolling down. Sesco, who we almost signed, got 11 goals. Look for Everton. We've had a good season. Ward Prowse was our top average rating. He got 16 assists, as maybe you'd expect from those set pieces. Pieces. And just to show you once again some of these uh, these fixtures, highlight it. I'll, I'll, I'll pause here if you want to look at them in a bit more detail. But to show you the FA Cup run, we beat Brighton fourth round. Who did we beat third round? MK Dons, then Brighton. Then we beat QPR in the quarterfinals. We had a quite a nice run. It was Liverpool in the semis, though. That was the one where we needed to get through it. We beat them. Bernardo got the winner. Into the final we go. Europa League run, to show you that as well. It was... First knockout round was... Where is the first knockout round? Is that it there? Okay, it's called second knockout round. We beat Milan 4-2 uh, on aggregate. Then it was Copenhagen. Again, a lovely draw, really. For the quarterfinals getting Copenhagen, we beat them 4-1 uh, and then 5-1. 9-2 on aggregate. And then it was Salzburg, who we also beat 9-1 on aggregate. Winning 1-0 winning away from... Winning. Winning 1-0 away from home. And then 8-1... Uh, at home look at the goals look at the goals we've scored there and that was a much changed team because we had weirdly a really tricky run here look at this for a fixture list we played on the second the fifth the seventh the ninth we played in one week four games four games in seven days and we actually won three of them there's no wonder that we lost 2-0 to Brighton I had to change the team up look I think Ward Prowse played right back in the game is this the one where he played Right back, we had no... Yeah, he... Oh, no. I, no. Walker Peters played. So maybe, uh, I, I don't know. There was a game where he played right back anyway. And yeah, we were quite thin on the ground in um in, with those fixture in that fixture list. But it does mean we've got two finals at the end of it. We're going to play Leeds first of all today, then Leipzig. I'm going to get this team ready and let's get into a live comp. Okay, so the team is ready for this first final. It's the FA Cup final versus Leeds. However, I realized that I didn't actually show you some of the player stats and I know that some of you guys like to see these. So use this time now to have a little peruse of these player stats. Just go down them. You can see some big standout ones like Badia Chile scoring 17 goals in all competitions. You can see how many players or how many games each player played. Hlozek got 13 goals from this attacking so well, centre mid position where we retrained him to a Metzala. We had 27 goals goals from Kitenge as you've seen. Colombo got 17. Shea Adams got 12. I'm going to start Colombo by the way in this game here with Kitenge up front. The fullbacks were they were rotating a little bit. Livermento and Dedic played plenty as well but so did Ridvan Yilmaz who got 36 games. Look you can see actually there was a lot of rotation this year. Even Martinez got himself nine starts 13 sub substitute appearances. Got himself five goals too. There wasn't many players who didn't really play at all. I mean Walker Peters only got four games. The goalkeeper Badawi only got two who Kudas did play 10 though. Decore, one of our first signings. Maybe our first signing actually from Gary Megson, right? Didn't play very much this year though. Just three substitute ones. However, lots of rotation. Lots of really good performances. Having a look at those average ratings. Especially second half of the season. I'm hoping... I'm hoping we take that into today's game and hopefully we can win at least one of these. I'm thinking, are we maybe more favourites for the first one here with Leeds, seeing how the season has gone? Leipzig might be a challenge. It'd be really cool to win both of them. However, this is going to be the team. Forster in goal, Livramento, Dedic at fullbacks, and then Kaiki and Badiashile at centre-back. Ward-Prowse is going to play just in front of the defence with Ugarte missing through a slight injury. He will be back. 
fact, he could make the bench here. He's back tomorrow and he's fully fit. So I reckon we risk him. Let's put Martinez off the bench and Ugarte on. Hlosek, Agume and Palacios, Ketenge and Colombo. Let's submit the team. Get ourselves into our first final. Let's go to Wembley. Come on, you saints. Get ourselves our first... Is it? I think it is our first bit of silverware in this save, right? I don't think we've won anything else. I'm trying to think back. I don't think so. This will be a massive, massive win if we could do it. There is the Leeds team. I've just realised they've got Lorenzo Luca, who is terrifying on FM, isn't he? They've got Calvin as well. Their team is quite, quite like that team. Some good signings in there from Jesse Marsh, who is still in charge at Leeds. Go and win that trophy, I've told them. We are... In the tunnel, send the assist to that win. We're starting. Here's the Leeds team. We've just had a look at it. They lost their last game. Is that the most recent one or is that the most? I don't know. They've lost one in five anyway. They're playing a 4-4-2, Jesse Marsh. I like it. A man after, after my own heart. I'm going to encourage them early. We're on the way. Come on. Big win here, please. Big win. Well, it's not been an interesting first 10 minutes. We've had this quite a lot in this series, haven't we? Where we've had these live comms with not much happening. First thing that is going to happen, though, is us on the attack. A corner. We'll press Badia Shile. He's put it in on the rebound. We've got the first goal here at Wembley. It's Badi Ashile. He's a goal-scoring machine. It wasn't even from the header from the set piece. He pounced on the rebound from it instead. 15 minutes on the clock. Big Benoit has put the ball in the back of the net. It's another Ward-Prowse corner that's ended up with a goal at the end of it. It's a good finish, actually, from a tight angle. Badi Ashile, big bad Badi Ashile gives us the lead. I mean, maybe that's a comment for today. We do Hozek as a Metzala, etc. Big bad Badi Ashile might be the comment for today's episode. Hozek, here he is, talking of him down the right hand side, back to Tino Livramento. Nice bit of football from us on the edge of the box here. Palacios passing it about. I mean, that is that is total football all the way back to the goalkeeper, and then we punted it along. I think Katenge's offside. His touch was not a good one. Um, this highlight is going to continue with Leeds having the ball. They've got the big Greek goalie, Vlaka Demos, I think it is. Odysseys is his name in game there. And they that's a horrible pass. Palacios has won that. Colombo. He's got Katenge in there. He's got... He could go alone. Oh, I feel like the, the near post opened up and he went baby-legged it straight at the goalkeeper. That could have been two. We've had chances here. What was that touch from Katenge, by the way, before that? That was awful. They've gone long. Luca's going to win those, but big bad Badia Shile is there and Forster boots it away. Katenge didn't win the header, but we've got the ball. This highlight's still going on, you know. We've got runners. Colombo, he baby like the last one. He's hit this one. I think he's offside. I'm pretty sure he's offside, isn't it? It's not going to be 2 0 unless the referee decides to be very lenient there. I think they're going to rule this one out via VAR. It is still 1 0. 20 minutes about on the clock. We do have the leads. He was offside there. Let's skip that and, can, and continue. We've got two finals to play today. Okay, it's been a good first half an hour. We've had more of the shots. Here come leads, though. First highlight we've seen from them. Swing in the corner. Bayoral at the back post. Went from back post corner, headed it over. We don't mind those, though. That wasn't a wasn't a massive chance, was it? Here come leads again, though. Johnson, Brennan Johnson, I think. Calvin down the right-hand side. It always surprises me with his ginger hair whenever I see him in-game. Down the right, crossed in, cleared away. Are we going to break here? Katenge, make the run. The boy wonder. Katenge is sort of in behind. He's gone very wide now. Okay, find the assist instead. Colombo, great cross. It's bounced in. It's off Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Ainsley Matalan-Niles, for those in the know. It's an own goal from Maitland-Niles, and it's 2-0. It's a good cross from Katenge. It's a very lucky goal at the end of it. A very rare... I don't think you see that one very often. That type of own goal where it bounces in. Colombo's shot might have been going well, wide. I think it was. It's bounced in off Ainsley Maitland-Niles, though. It's 2-0. Come on. We're 2-0 up at Wembley. We're looking good for silverware. Don't bottle it from here, though. That would be bad. And halftime. There is the halftime whistle then. And things are looking pretty good. I'm going to tell them to not get complacent. I really want to see a trophy lift at the end of this. 12 shots, 9 on target from us. We're on the attack again here for 3. It's Ward Prowse towards Big Bad Bad Ashile. He's headed it over. It was a bad header, you could say. It was another chance, though. We are all over leads here. I think we've seen just that one highlight from them, haven't we? A third goal would make me feel a lot better. We've got some good players on the bench, though, if we need to use them. Just seeing how tired Luca, uh, Lorenzo Luca is for them. Here's Dedic down the left-hand side. Katenge's in there. Palacios is there. Back to Dedic. In towards Klozek. Livermento will pick up the uh, the clearance, though. And we'll start again. Can you see how desperate I am for Katenge to score? He's our boy. He's gone wide again. He almost got an assist. I don't know if it counted as an assist. Here he is. Look at the football. 
ball. Someone put the ball in the net, please. They have. Thank you very much. See, if you ask nicely, they might do it. It's Matthias Palacios who's made it 3-0. Look how deep that Leeds defensive line is. Almost on their own goal line. And we're just passing it around in the box. It's really easy. It's poor defending. Look at that pass into Flozek. Back into Katenge. Agume just takes his time to pick a pass. Livramento shot blocked. Palacios puts it in. 3-0 to us. We're coasting. Coasting to a trophy here at Wembley. The FA Cup should be Southampton's. I say should be because there is still 24 minutes left and I've seen weirder things happen in FM. I'm not going to go and change too much. I do want to see this one through. The fourth goal. And I think we might even be avoiding the, the chance of a bottle then. Although, okay, Leeds have the ball. It's Patrick Bamford. If they make it 3-1, I will start to worry. Capaldo, he has... Okay, I'm just going to sit up in my chair slightly because there is 24 minutes to go and it is 3-1. It's a lovely bit of football. I mean, it's not great defending. Bamford picks it up, just waits for the run. There is Capaldo. We part like the Red Sea almost and Fraser Forster. That's why, Gary, you should maybe have signed a new goalkeeper. Although he's been all right, Forster. 7.1 so far. 72 minutes. I'm going to make some later subs. I didn't want to change it too much because we were so dominant. But now with that goal going in, I should do. We've got yellow carded players. Tell you what we could do. I'm going to... Ward Prowse off is a is an interesting thing to do. But I think Ugarte is really good. And he was tired. And he's on a yellow. He's our defensive midfielder. I'm going to do Ward Prowse off and Manuel Ugarte on. I'm going to stagger the, the substitutions a little bit. Just to wind the clock down. With 10 minutes to go. Let's make our second change now. We will do Colombo off and Shea Adams on. A great player to be able to bring in off the bench. I think Shea Adams. There are 10 minutes to play. We've got the ball on the attack. I've not told him to be defensive or anything. I think we're still going for it. Hlozek, he's got away from his man here. Could go all the way. Goes down. It's, it's a corner. I thought the ref might have given one of those weird penalty decisions. He didn't. Instead, it was a corner that wasn't really a highlight. Five to play. I was going to do another change there, but instead, we're going to see another highlight. Livramento crosses. Shea Adams off the bench. He's put it in. He scored the goal. It is 4-1. And that should be that now. Everybody stop panicking. Now, I wasn't panicking. I'm sure you guys weren't panicking. We were 3-1 up with five minutes to go. But Shea Adams has put the ball in the back of the net. And now surely, 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 it's going to be a Southampton, the Southampton name written on this trophy. Good finish from Shea Adams. I will do that final, final sub now. We'll do Dedic for Yilmaz. Let's wind the clock down. Let's get ourselves to that final whistle. Let's go and get ourselves that FA Cup. I told you, it could be a great end to the series. Now, I, I, I wanted one of the two, right? We're going to get at least one of them. Here it is. We are FA Cup winners. Despite Gary Megson doing all of our transfers. Despite signing 1,038 centre midfielders. Despite not signing any centre backs when we needed them to. Or no goalkeepers. We've won ourselves our first trophy. Get in there. Raise that cup aloft. I think it's probably James Ward-Prowse. Although he did go off, didn't he? Champions or FA Cup champions. We're the FA Cup winners. Come on. Great stuff. Love to see the confetti. You always love to see the confetti, don't you? I guess, though, what we should do next is get ourselves through to cup final number two. Okay, so here it is then. Potentially, potentially the perfect end for this series. Qualifying for the Champions League, winning the FA Cup, and now the chance to win the Europa League as well. The team is ready. It's going to look like this for this final then. One or two changes from the FA Cup final. The big one being Agume, who signed too late to be registered for the Europa League, is unable to play. He plays quite a lot of our games and played quite well, actually, in a few of them. He is unregistered. So, it's going to be Ugarte who comes in and Ward-Prowse pushes forward slightly into this midfield. It's actually still a very strong midfield, isn't it? Katenge and Colombo up front. Hlozek, Palacios, Ward-Prowse, Ugarte. Ridvan comes in at right back for Livramento, who's just slightly off being fully fit. I'm going to go with Ridvan for this one who has played a lot of games as well himself. Scored five goals actually from this right right back spot. Dedic plays left back. Badia Shile who is tired starts with Keiki and then Forster in behind them. All of these guys on the bench. The other guys who are not on the bench are all the players who aren't registered. I think we're actually missing one spot on the bench but it's fine. We've still got 11 of them. Let's submit the team. Let's get ourselves into the Europa League final against Leipzig. This one is not going to be easy. I'm certainly not counting any chickens here. If I had to guess, out of the two, I would have guessed that we beat Leeds and then lose to Leipzig. 
let's find out if the, that is exactly what is going to happen. We're in our yellow kit, as you can see. There is the Leipzig team. So Bosley still in there. Guardiola still in there. And Kunku still playing for them. Danny Olmo. That's a fantastic team, isn't it? Isn't it? A lot of really good FM players in there. Send the assistant to that. Get ourselves underway here at the Aviva Stadium, which is quite a nice place to be. Referee Willie Collum gets us underway and the first highlight goes to us. Look at that. It's a packed house. It looks absolutely huge, this stadium. Ridvan with the throw in, in towards... Well, I think it was in towards Kitenge, but it's cleared. Here is Ridvan back on the ball, though. Palacios. Football on the outside of the box. Dedic. It's a good effort. He's put it wide, though. There is one of our fullbacks getting themselves forward. Alongside, it was Dedic on the left. Ridvan was forward on the right as well. Good start from us. First 15 minutes, no shots from Leipzig yet. One shot from them now. Very cagey is probably how I say it. This would be a good time to score James Will Prowse. He's whipped it. Beckham style. It's gone over though. Maybe less Beckham style in that sense. 22 minutes. Tyler Adams has a throw in for Leipzig, which is the first time we've seen them on the attack. Olmo. Oh, Mariba. Their team is so good. So many players that become really good at FM and they've stayed at Leipzig. Angelino down the left. Andre Silva. What a chance. What a miss is what you have to say. He's baby legged it a bit straight at Fraser Forster. Probably the best chance of the game that has gone their way. I said it was KG. First half an hour. Four shots apiece. One shot on target so far from either team. I think we take it. I think staying in the game is not a terrible place to be. Half time at nil nil. I guess we'll just get ourselves to there. Maybe roll the dice a little bit towards the end of the game. It's been it's been very even. The XG both less than one apiece at this halftime break. I'm going to tell them that our shooting has not been good enough. And we're going to start the second half without any changes just yet. I'm going to encourage them though. There are five minutes already been played. We've had eight shots to one on target apiece now. Not a lot happening. It's been very low key actually in terms of a final. Maybe both teams scared to lose it rather than... Both teams are absolutely piling forward. We've got the ball here then at the back. Passing it around. Badiashili and Keiki. Can we play through them? Plozek, a lot of space here. He's got Katenge in the mid. What a chance. We had the chance for Andre Silva at one end. Katenge, what a chance that was. He didn't catch it properly. He's rolled it wide. A really good chance apiece, I'd call that. And it was the boy, Katenge, who could have scored for us 70 minutes now. Again, I've not made changes early here. Oh, what a time to, could, that could have been to score. Do you know what? Shea Adams scored a goal off the bench last time. Let's bring him on for Kitenge. We've got Palacios playing with a knock. Let's do Stuart Armstrong, who I think can get forward from this CM attack position quite nicely. We'll do two subs to start. 20 minutes to play. We're still definitely in this. It's very cagey. Here come Leipzig with a free kick in our half. Tyler Adams, Ginter, Mariba. Can we nick the ball and get away or will this be them playing through us? Tyler Adams, bit of space to cross it from here. Does cross it. Paulson. Oh, he's hit the bar. We've got away with one. They didn't even jump with him. I think it was Rid Ridvan at the back post. Didn't jump with the striker there. And it should maybe have been a goal. Yusuf Paulson, I really like in FM as well. Eight minutes to play. Do we roll the dice a bit and go for it here? Do we want extra time? Hozek is really tired. We do have good midfielders. Let's do... Let's do Sucic. I'm going to move... Let's do this here. Let's just move Sucic to this Metzala here. Ward Prowse is going to play the CM attack. Armstrong is in there too. Let's just freshen things up in this four centre mid... Or this three centre mid midfield we have. Take it into extra time. Five minutes added on. It'd be a nice time to score now. If there's a highlight now... There is. It's us on the attack. This could be the winner. Everybody ready? It's headed away. Ugarte. This would be a great time for somebody to be a hero. Make it Kitenge. It'd be the perfect end to our save. Badia Shile into Armstrong. We've brought him off. But Stuart Armstrong has done it. We've won the Europa League final with one of the last kicks of the game. I said somebody needs to be a hero. Stuart Armstrong has just made himself that hero. We brought him in off the bench. It's Ugarte into ba big bad Badiashile. Great ball from him. He arrows it into that far corner. There's about a minute to play and we might have snatched the Europa League from Leipzig. The whistle has gone. We've done both in this episode. We've won the FA Cup and now we've won the Europa League. What a way to end things. It has to be the end. I know it's sad that we're into the Champions League. I know it's sad that you want to see how Kitenge gets on. Maybe, just maybe, I'll go and do that five years later. Save our sim forward a little bit. But do you know what? This seems poetic. Gary Megson is looking down on us from somewhere thinking, I bought those lads and they won this silverware for Southampton. 
Thank you so much for watching this series. It's been an absolute blast to make. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. It's uh, a very different type of save and one that I've really, really enjoyed making. I really do hope you've enjoyed it too. Let me know how you found it in the comments down below. Let me know what you want me to go and do next going into FM23. Thank you so much for all the support on this. I really, really do appreciate it. If you've not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. There's going to be so many videos coming up with the launch of Football Manager 2023. I'm going to go absolutely crazy and getting content out to you guys. So make sure you subscribe for that. Leave a like on the video. Leave me those comments. But most importantly, have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, Southampton. Goodbye to you guys. Bye-bye.